In this video, we are going to talk about finding slope from a graph. So first, we need a line. So let's start with some line here. We'll have one that goes from here. And let's have it go to there. So there we have a line. And you will notice that we have intersection points and non-intersection points. This is an intersection point because it meets the two of the whole numbers. This is two whole numbers, two whole numbers. These are all what I call intersection points. And these are not intersection points because it doesn't meet at two gray lines. In other words, not two whole numbers. So we want to be very careful to pick only intersection points. So let's go ahead and look at this line and let's pick any two intersection points and we'll take let's say this one here and i'm just really randomly picking these and i'll pick this one here those two intersection points are going to help us find the slope of the line now slope is written with a cursive kind of scripty fancy M. And yes, it does need to be a fancy M. So slope is rise over run. And so when we do this, we think rise is up and down and run is left to right. And we always read our graphs from left to right just like we're reading a book or solving a math problem, we solve it from left to right. And then we draw what's called a slope triangle. And so that slope triangle is going to be a triangle that connects, th that connects those two intersection points. And my slope triangle is drawn by hand and it's just right there. Or I could have drawn it up here Either one works totally fine, but let's say I draw here and here. Now I'm going to say that I'm going from the left dot to the right dot. And so that is a distance of positive four in my run. And then I go up two, so that's positive two. So now my slope then is my rise of two over my run of four, and that's equal to one half. And slope is always represented as a fraction, well, almost always represented as a fraction. So here we have a slope of one half. Now I want you to note that no matter which two intersection points I picked, that line, the steepness of that line has the same slope. So the steepness or the slope of the line is always the same. So let's say I had picked this point and this point as my intersection points. Well, then I could have drawn a slope triangle. Let's pick um, on a purple. That's a nice color. And to draw my slope triangle, now I know I'm running into my numbers just a little bit, but that's okay. And this has a rise of four and a run of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so M in this case, the rise is four and the run is eight, which also equals one half which is exactly as we expected because the steepness of a line does not change along the, the graph. Well, let's take a look at another example. And so let's get our graph back up and have that in there. And we can draw a line. Let's say I have a line that goes like this. Now this one doesn't have very many intersection points, but as long as it's got two, we're fine. So I'm gonna pick two intersection points. Here is one intersection point, and here's another intersection point. 
and this has a slope triangle. I could either draw this one or I could draw this one. Let's just take that one. And this has a rise of negative three because it's dropping three and a run of one because again, we're reading left to right. So we go down three and right one. And so our slope M is equal to the rise over the run. And that's a whole number, so we simplify that to negative three. We don't leave it as negative three over one. And so our slope is negative three. If I had picked a different set for uh, my intersection points, I could have picked this one and this one, say. I could have drawn a uh, slope triangle over here. Oops, a little too far. That's okay. And here's my slope triangle. So I've got it right here. Green maybe wasn't the best color, but you'll excuse me for that, I hope. This has a run of two and a rise of negative six because it's actually a drop of six. And so my slope is equal to the rise of negative six, the run is two, and that simplifies to negative three. So that slope is constant. So that's how you find slope of a graph of a line using slope triangles.